Hi Taurus, this is going to be your reading for November of 2019 for Twin Flames. So I hope you're doing well and also I just want to say such a huge thank you for everyone for supporting my channel. It means so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't already subscribed, do feel free to do so if you enjoy my readings. Also, if you would like to win a free reading with me, information is down below since I do a giveaway every month. Um, also, if you would like to book a private paid reading with me, information is also down below as well. They are done very, very fast. Usually they're done within 24 hours. Sometimes they are done within 48 hours. I always say 24 to 48, you know, just in case I am doing something else. Um, and also, if you would like to check out my bracelets on Etsy, they will be listed down below. I do have a twin flame bracelet, which I'm not actually wearing right now. I do have another one that I'm wearing, though. This is the wealth bracelet, but I have a twin flame and a yin and yang bracelet. And honestly, the results that you guys have been telling me about and how they've been working for you, they blow my mind. I'm just so, so, so incredibly happy that they are working for you. They're very, very affordable. There's free international shipping. And um, yeah, so I'll leave a link down below to my bracelets. If you are interested, do check out the reviews as well, you know, and see how they've been working for other people. So yeah, that will all be down below. Taurus, what have we got going on? Literally, what have we got going on? We have the moon, and we have the ace of pentacles, we have the king of swords, and the ten of wands. Whoa. <laughs> this one wanted to do some pirouettes. Page of swords. Okay, so if I just lay everything out... So who here is emotionally struggling? Whose twin is also somehow emotionally struggling? I feel like this is tied. I feel like both of you are very much so on the same wavelength here where I feel like your twin is struggling but also you are also struggling somehow. Mentally, emotionally, physically or just spiritually struggling. There seems to be a struggle here. Now what I will say is that in November we do have the Neptune retrograde. And the thing is, with that Neptune retrograde, it's happened in the sign of Pisces. The moon is ruled by Pisces. So in November, you will feel quite emotionally all over the place. But what I will say is that you will have peaks of feeling good as well. So it's not going to be 100% you just feeling down in the dumps throughout the entire course of November. You are going to feel uplifted. I'm also seeing here communication with your twin. So if you're someone that doesn't have communication with your twin, you can expect some form of communication throughout the course of November. And if you're already in communication with your twin, I do see more communication with them. Because the King of Swords and the Page of Swords it indicates something more. It also shows an opening. So I'm seeing that this can relate to those of you that are not in contact with your twin and those of you who are in contact with your twin. That's what we've got here essentially with those um, sword energies, those air energies, where I do see there's quite a back and forth and flow in conversation. So we also have the Ten of Wands. Now you having communication with your twin can also make you just feel like, oh, I wish things would just work out and open up. And just know that your twin here is very much so working through things. They have for some reason, especially in my mind, they have a lot of burdens. They have a lot going on. There's a lot going on in their life that they need to really put to rest, that they need to move on from essentially, and they're working through that. And we see that with the 10. They really are at that stage where they just know they've got to like let go and move on of these certain things. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, which does actually show that your twin has a significant amount of interest in you. We also see that with the Three of Pentacles, right? This sense of teamwork and collaboration. Your twin knows that you are special. Your twin knows that there is something there where they just cannot quite stop thinking about you. They cannot forget about you. All they want to do is really progress things with you. That's what I'm seeing. Like, they don't want to let go. There's this feeling of them knowing that there's something really strong in this connection. And that's what we got, you know, especially with that three of pentacles as well. They know that there's something special here. 
but I do feel at the same time with that 10, they know they have to let go. Thing is, with the Neptune retrograde as well, they are going to be so much more spiritually awakened. That card just um, <laughs> fell on my lap and kind of, it, well, it was half on my lap and half on the table because I sit quite high up as well. So basically it just falls on my lap or it falls on the table. So we have that with the Neptune retrograde where I do feel that they are going to be so much more enlightened they're going to feel lighter as well. So it's like they're, they're starting to really put this behind. Okay. Oh my god. Let me just like think about it. I feel like I almost just had a heart attack when I saw this card. Because you know what? Sometimes I just talk about things and then the cards just come out. And I think to myself, why don't you just pull all the cards and then talk about them? Because then at least you're not going to keep repeating yourself like a hundred times. So we've got the Hangman. Hangman is ruled by Neptune. This is all about spirituality. Neptune is a very spiritual planet as we know it. It's in retrograde, as I've mentioned 700 times now. It went in retrograde in the sign of Pisces. As I mentioned, the moon is <laughs> ruled by Pisces. So, well, the moon card is ruled by Pisces. So, they're going to be feeling a lot more uplifted, much more spiritual. They're going to be feeling a lot lighter and definitely enlightened. There we go, right? They know that there is something really special here and they are going to work through those problems because the ten there, the ten of wands is about putting this to an end. So that's what they're going to be doing. Nine of cups is a wish. I know that you want things to progress with them. They're getting through it. November is like that last pull, you know, that last step, trying to get through it, trying to progress through it. Ace of pentacles there is showing that your wish will come true. It may just take a little bit more time than November, but November is progress for your twin. That's what I'm seeing. Huge progress emotionally. Two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Remember that every general reading I do will most likely hit a different group of people in that sign. So, you know, there are some that are already in union. There are many twin flames already in union. There are some that are just getting to that point, which is what we see here. And there are some that really don't have any contact with their twins. So, you know, every time I do a general reading, it can hit a different group. That's what I'm seeing. But, you know, just putting that out there, it is a general reading. And if you wanted to know specifically what's going on in your situation, that's when private readings kick in. And that's why I offer free readings as well. Because I know that not everyone can offer, um, sorry, can afford a private reading so I do the paid ones and also I do the um, giveaway as well but this may resonate with so many of you and that's what I'm seeing right so we have here the king and the queen of swords so here we go we have here counterparts right we also have here communication between you and your twin so again it pretty much just repeated the whole message. We also have the Two of Pentacles. They're getting so much more balanced despite their struggles. You see these rocky waves in the background? Despite all these rocky waves, they are getting much more balanced. It's a good sign because it shows that November is that push. It's a push. This is such an eye-opening reading. Truly. Oh, okay. So, sorry, I was like, ooh, <laughs> you know, gotta, gotta feel the reading as we go along, you know? King of Wands, right? So, they're taking action towards this. At least we know that your twin is moving. They're not stuck and stay, um, they're not stuck, they're not stay, staying stuck. I was gonna say stable. I mean, they're getting stable, right? But there was another word that I was thinking of, which just was half in my mind and now it's gone, which is, thing is, when I do a reading and I'm channeling, there are so many words that come into my mind that sometimes it gets jumbled up because I'm trying to get all the information out. But we have got the King of Wands, which shows that they're attracted to you. It shows that they know that something's really special between the two of you. They know that there's a spark. They know that there's attraction. We have the Page, the Knight, and the King of Swords, as well as the Queen of Swords. This really shows that there's communication so much communication, page of pentacles, on a subtle level, there's going to be, you know, the two of you just knowing that there's something here, you know, they know, you know, it is there, this is your energy, you know, of the page of pentacles, I know you want this, and it will come, there, it's this last push, you know, it's the last step before union, it's, it's right there, but it's, it's like they're just gonna get to it, you know, I'm doing this, but like, they're just, Anyway, so Taurus, this is your reading. I really hope that this gave you more insight into the situation and 
if it did, let me know. Uh, do let me know how this resonates with you in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the description box below for more information on the private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. And I will see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for all of the love and support. And take care. Bye.